Welcome back to Peace Even. Thank you again for joining me. Please, if you are yet to watch um, my two previous videos, kindly do so. You can click the links. I put the links in the about of this video you're watching right now. And this video is a continuation of the two previous ones. And today, I'm going to the introverts. If you remember, um, two weeks ago, I said I was going to talk about the extrovert first and then the introvert. So today is the beginning of the introvert topic. And the first set of people that I'll be talking about in the introvert spectrum is the melancholics. Yes, um, like usual, I'll be giving the characteristics and also the temperament I feel will be compatible or they will be compatible with characteristics of melancholics these kind of people they usually have well in the history of temperaments they term them the black or dark temperament and uh, funny enough the word melancholic is derived from the word melancholia which means dark mood or black mood something like that so and the reason why it is so is because they are usually very moody set of people I mean, usually very moody, depressed, sad. Even when there is nothing making them sad, they're usually like that. And also, this set of people are analytical. They are analytical, they are self-sacrificing. In fact, they derive joy in self-sacrificing themselves. That is, they are not, they are very selfless. That's the word. They're very selfless. They are gifted. They have, um, they actually hold the, greatest gifts i mean most gifted people in the world today most of them are melancholics they are very gifted they are they are perfectionist you know when i mentioned this word i just remember the story of this other girl that my mom used to tell me and my siblings when we were young uh it was during the time when my mom was teaching us about temperament and stuff so she used to say when she was in secondary school there's this girl in a class when you're passing i don't know this kind of schools in nigeria you know the way we arrange not even in nigeria everywhere the way we arrange our tables and our chairs so when you're passing beside the table and the chair of this girl everything around her is neat a table well prepared a books here a pencil a pen everything in order all the time all the time and also our, our, our um surroundings very neat you know these are I mean, that's just a typical example of a melancholic. They are perfectionists. They want everything. They are orderly people. That's just the word. Very order. Very orderly. Sorry. And um, they have moods. Sometimes you can you can you can uh, mistake a melancholic as an extrovert because sometimes their mood lifts them up to a point of ecstasy and you no know, they like be all around that you feel like oh maybe it's an extrovert but meet him or her tomorrow they are back in their moody state you know looking like this and you'll be, and you'll be asking yourself what happened so um, they can act extrovertish and sometimes they can be very gloomy they don't make friends easily but when they make one friend ah they can die for that friend like they can die for their friends there are these kind of people that you won't see them going to meet someone to make friends with them they actually prefer when people come to meet them. not as if they don't want to go and meet that person but they just don't have the courage they don't have the charisma to go and make friends so most times the friends come to them you know and they pick their friends so mm, this is how they, they pick their friends <laughs> so they don't make friends easily that's just the word and um you know just like the sanguine i mean unlike the sanguine the sanguines everywhere they go they have friends everywhere but the melancholy is just an opposite of the sanguine when it comes to making friends and they are very faithful when they find that one friend that they can die for they are very faithful and very loyal you know i was mentioning it um, i can't remember who i was discussing this topic of temperament with and i was telling her that see the best friend you can have eh, let me say the most loyal friend that you can have or in, i mean when it comes to temperaments is a melancholy because they can they can do anything for you but break that trust just ask them once that's the end 
that is the end because they they struggle with forgiveness because they can carry grudges a lot you will say melancholic telling you about something that has happened five years six years be asking but when did i do this i can't even remember myself that's a melancholic they will they will give you your history of when you've done that thing and you'll be especially if it's like they're talking like to a sanguine about what a sanguine has done I know some they forget things easily, but melancholy they don't forget things easily, and they have this big. My mom used to say they have this big basket where they store up grudges and store up stuff. So it's going to take a lot of work on the part of the melancholic to know that it's very good to forgive. If you are helping yourself when you forgive someone that hurt you, and melancholics they have a very high IQ. They are very intelligent set of people. Very very intelligent. And also with that, they have very creative. Melancholies, they have a very creative ability. They are dependable. They are very, 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 very consistent. And they don't like change. You know, with consistent. When you see someone, when you see someone that is very consistent, that person don't like change because when you're so used to this person, we're so used to this thing. They don't like change. They don't like changing. You know, they just don't like change in every sense of the word. And um, another thing about melancholics is that they often accomplish a lot because we know because of their creativity or their creative ability and also for their, um, 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 because of their gifted personality as well. Remember I said they were gifted, they are, they, are, they are very gifted. So they tend to accomplish a lot, but sometimes they get depressed after accomplishing you know, this big thing to the world it's a very big thing but to them it's just like this and this is because of the perfect um, perfectionistic tendency because they'll feel like they didn't do enough maybe it's just one tiny thing that is not perfect in that top in that stuff and it has already weighed them down so due to that they can fall into depression very very easily and um yeah that is it about that and then another thing about them is that they never set how to do anything without counting the cost if a melancholy want to start something maybe want to start a business the first thing of the capital if they don't have the capital laid down like this they won't start to not the only capital they are everything must be perfect everything must be on set before they start anything that is just the kind of that is just the kind of person they have and um before i go into the compatible temperament that um that fits the melancholics i would like to chip this hint that most musicians are melancholics and this is because first of all of the artistic nature and also melancholies have a way of pouring their emotions into everything they do including music and you know music is all about emotions like you know the the reason why we actually listen to music you know it's it goes with our emotions sometimes okay like me now sometimes i may feel like just listening to upbeat music you know, just that sometimes i may just you know need something cool something solemn so most musicians they are melancholy because they pour out their everything into whatever they do now let me go to the temperaments that are compatible for melancholics I will be starting. I will be starting with the cholerics. Um, the choleric with the melancholy. Mm, they make a good pair, actually, because they offer. Because melancholics offer most of the things cholerics need. And this, I would I would mention about three to four things um, that the melancholics have that cholerics need. The first thing is analytics. You know, I mentioned melancholics. They are analytical in nature. Now, choleris on the other, on the sorry, melancholics are analytical. Sorry, choleris on the other side, they are not. Those words, they just want to do. When they say they want to do something, they do it. They don't, you know, they don't like going into details. And um, another thing that a melancholic has that a choleric is lacking is also that attention to detail now when a choleric man you know pairs with a melancholic woman they'll make a very good pair because the woman will be able you know to be very detailed especially when it comes to raising up their children you know as mothers you must be very very detailed you know with your children you must pay attention everything so that's why that's one of the reasons why they will make a very good pair because of the melancholic's attention to detail which the choleric lack now another thing that a melancholic has that like choleric doesn't have and that will be of advantage to that union is a calm personality remember i mentioned the choleric as they are out they are quick they are you know uh, bustling but melancholics they are they're like the cold water 
to that to the choleric and blah, 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 you know that kind of thing so they are very calm they have this calm personality and they are self-sacrificing they have a self-sacrificing ability which the choleric doesn't have and another thing is they they have listening they they can listen they are good listeners i mean melancholics melancholics are good listeners you can talk to melancholic you can spend three hours telling a melancholic the, all of the problem of your life and you or she will just sit down looking at you you know not like looking at you but listening because you know they are self-sacrificing and they are very empathetic so they you know they feel empathy a lot and they feel it very often to people that's it about the choleric and the melancholic and on the other side sorry i mean vice versa I mean, there are things like choleric as that a melancholic would also appreciate. Um, that is, um, a choleric, they easily take on projects. For example, a choleric wants to do something, maybe it's not working. He or she has jumped another one. But a melancholic, a melancholic, instead of jumping, she will, he or she will first, you know, be depressed. Ah, why did this one did not work? Why did, you know? But a choleric, if such a male has a choleric in his or her life, choleric will quickly, it's not working, let's go to another one, you know. So they will, that was one of the reasons why they will make a good deal. And now let me talk about a sanguine with a melancholic. They would make a good pair as well because sanguines have a bossing personality, which melancholic melancholics need, you know, because of that black and dark mood. So sanguines they have this bossing personality. They can they can easily make people laugh easily, you know. Put a sanguine in a room of gloomy people. You just he or she will just throw a joke, you know, and everybody will start laughing. That's just a sanguine. So that's and that's the reason why both of them would pair very well and in return melancholics are more organized and meticulous sanguine in which sanguines lack sanguines are they are disorg disorganized set of people enter a sanguine's house nobody needs to tell you when it's a sanguine because everything is so disorganized looking for everything everywhere that's a sanguine but melancholics they are organized they are orderly they are meticulous they love planning this is so that's another reason why they will make a good pair now to the phlegmatics i mean a phleg with a with a male they're probably not so perfect a duo at first glance but with a lot of effort from from both sides they would work and this is because phlegmatics can be fun too if it's thrown at them you understand they can be fun as well and but it's not something they do often and it's not something that so good has compared to the sanguines of course so that's why i feel like if they work on themselves they'll make a good pair manageable one now a melancholy with a melancholy mm, it would be quite a very 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 boring union because mm, you know each of them will be waiting for who we dear each other hope who we make who we laugh who we this is it, you know but that doesn't mean they can't work don't get me wrong just like um in the first video that i uploaded i said the fact that i'm i'm saying that some temperaments may not be too good doesn't mean they will not work i'm just saying that it will take a whole lot of work and a long time for them to actually complement each other this way um yeah so it doesn't mean they won't work i mean a melancholic and a melancholy they just need to know how to rotate their weaknesses and strength you know maybe when this one is gloomy you take up the 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 work and it'll be the so that the old house will not just be like like we're attending a funeral <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching this video in my next video i'll be talking about the last group of temperament and after that i'll be talking about the 12 blends of temperament because as you can see one person cannot have all characteristics of one temperament Okay, let me explain myself i'm trying to say that due to variation we've come together a male marries a uh, sanguine when they have a child the child will have a bit of a male and a bit of sanguine so that's how the 12 blends of temperament came to be so i'll be talking about the 12 blends of temperament after i talk about the phlegmatics please watch out for the video and don't forget about the panel video i also spoke about where our big people here so that i'll come and do buzzbos you know about <laughs> about this old temperament talk but anyway thank you for watching can you subscribe hit the like button share this video and tell your friends and everyone you can tell about it so that you can come and watch thank you so much Thank you.